Hello, oh, hello everyone. My name is Alden Gagnon of Alden's Energy Healing and this is a weekly Instagram live I do called Cards and Crystals where I do a card pull, a sound bath, and give a crystal prescription for the week. And so it's a really lovely time and I just love the community that comes every week and the people who watch after and I hope that you enjoy. So this week is the full moon lunar eclipse in Sagittarius and it's pretty major pretty major um Katie so glad to hear you had a good week that's awesome uh especially like um I'm a Sagittarius so I'm really feeling like the heightened chaotic energy I personally have been struggling with some very difficult to identify health issues for the past six years one big reason why I got into energy healing because it's the only thing that was able to help me feel relaxed and manage my symptoms and all of a sudden in the past week it's just been like boom 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 like a series of diagnoses and like doctors really listening to me and helping me so it's exciting it's frustrating that it took this long but it's exciting that things are like happening so if you are also a Sagittarius or if you have any placements in Sagittarius you might be feeling that really intense energy and full moons are all about releasing and Sagittarius is specifically about opening your throat chakra so that's some good information to have and I'm um, personally oh my god this is gonna take forever okay there we go <laughs> I'm doing a full moon in Sagittarius by proxy ritual. I'm going to be filming it right after I do this video. And so I will be posting that tomorrow morning. And you can do that to help ground yourself and open up your throat chakra during this week. And this is a lovely um, gratitude candle. It's in this month's Scottish Provisions box, and I don't know if you can see because the light is really kind of blasting it out, um, but there's a rose quartz, and rose quartz is for the heart chakra, for opening up the heart, and it smells really good, this candle. It smells like gardenia. I'm pretty obsessed with it. <laughs> this is my first time lighting it for you guys, so thank you for being here, and we're just going to look at this candle and I'm sending Reiki to it and we're going to really consider our intention for the week so is your intention like Katie's intention uh just to have a good week like maybe like that my intention is to calm like to continuously and consciously calm myself, calm my nervous system, calm my energy, calm my limiting beliefs, things like that. Especially with this chaotic energy, it's really a time for conscious self-care and taking in the reins of our taking the reins of our lives. So yeah, just send your intention into this candle. I'm sending Reiki to it to support you and your journey. Hi second Allison. We have two Allisons here today. <laughs> mm, wow. Y'all are sending some good intentions. I can feel that. All right, now I'll do this heart chakra on the Hatha sound bath, my lovely, lovely Tibetan singing bowl. Sort of like my baby. <laughs> the bija mantra which means seed in sanskrit bija uh, for the throat chakra or the vishuddha uh, and it's just really lovely to help open up your throat during this sagittarius time 
and it's we're in the sign of Gemini the sun is and that's all about communication as well oh I didn't show this so we are using the beyond the Muria oracle cards by Izzy Ivy and this is the pocket edition so it's like I really like it because it's very succinct messaging and especially this week when things are so busy you know keep it simple keep it clear keep it succinct <laughs> All right, I think this is the card. All righty. Mm, hardcore. Earth Star Chakra Initiation. You are standing at a gateway into the unknown with trust in your heart. Ancient remembering in your soul and inner illumination to light the way. You have access to the seat of creation, the spark of existence and the codes that hold the blueprints of who and what we are. This place is clear and grounded, despite moving through multidimensional realms and able to bridge worlds while functioning in physical reality. The higher you reach for the divine realms of spirit, the more important it is to anchor deeply into earth. Um, Katie says, the card deck matches my top. Yes, it does. <laughs> um, and wait in white waters, good evening, hello. Uh, so this is interesting. It's like, I, I find it interesting how it says initiation is the key word for this card because it's like talking again about the chaotic energies. Like now more than ever, it's really important to ground ourselves, to take care of our energies, to root into the earth and to support ourselves. And for those of you who don't know, the earth star chakra is about five feet below your feet and it's what really connects you to the core of the earth and grounds you. So it's like, how can you ground yourself? And I think a lot of people who know me in real life, like in, in person, are always surprised by how grounded I am. And they're always like, oh, I didn't realize you were like uh, energy healer, healer or a spiritual person because you're not like really like up here up in your upper chakras all the time or like super woo woo all the time I'm woo woo here not that that's the best term sometimes it can be very derogatory but you know what I'm trying to get at um I'm 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 very spiritual on here on cards and crystals because I know it's like this space to do it like I've crafted this space to do it but we also need to be grounded in the physical reality in the physical world to be able to really merge those two spaces the upper energies and the lower energies and it's how can you really ground into your lower energies ground into the earth star chakra if you've ever done a private session with me which I know quite a few of you in this room have uh you will know that I put magnetite on your earth star chakra every session to really help ground, really help seal a person into the earth. And um, so today for this, I would like to offer us some smoky quartz. This is a gorgeous smoky quartz piece I got in Woodstock, New York. And it just so happens I'm from Conway, New Hampshire in what is known by indigenous peoples as the Crystal Hills, what's known colonially as like the White Mountains. Um, and smoky quartz is the main product of where I'm from, so I always think that's pretty cool. Uh, smoky quartz is one of the first crystals I was drawn to when I moved away from my hometown because I was so used to that deeply, deeply grounding energy that I just started like hoarding smoky quartz and putting it everywhere. <laughs> this was like one of my favorite crystals for grounding and protection. So the question is, how can you ground yourself to then lift off you know if you've ever danced or worked out or done a jump you know that you need to bend your knees and really hunker down before you can lift off and get that spring-loaded sensation of supporting yourself so smoky quartz can help you do that it can help you ground and center yourself it's great for the root chakra as well as for the earth star chakra which is the card we pulled and really supporting yourself to be able to then open up all your energy centers, open up your throat chakra, open up all the spaces that you need to live your fully most vibrant and most aligned life. So there we go. Earth star chakra initiation and smoky quartz. And I really love how in the card it like shows this sort of blast of light 
expanding out for everyone and it's like you need to be able to be grounded to then expand your auric field and to really expand all of your energy and again be your best self so i hope this was useful for you let me know if you have any questions and as always if you would like to book a one-on-one distance energy healing with me i do them in real time with you over zoom and super cozy super relaxing people always say they can feel me working on their energy which is true and um yeah especially during this highly chaotic week uh give yourself the gift of grounding yourself and come have a session with me because I think it will really serve you and if that's not in the cards for you the distance by proxy healing will also be happening even though that's a little shorter and not um specific to one person but yeah earth star chakra initiation smoky quartz as always, you can find me at Alden's Energy Healing on all socials as well as website. And I'm so, so grateful for everyone who showed up live, for everyone who's watching this after. It's a real honor to serve you and to get to know you and to, you know, be on this healing journey, on this life journey together. Thank you. do a sales pitchy thing again but I got the message that someone wants to know where they can book a distance healing with me so it's just aldensenergyhealing.as.me or it's via the link in my Instagram bio and I also will put the link in the comments below when I post this video Alrighty, thank you so much everyone many many blessings to you this week stay grounded stay in your truth get out in nature and ground yourself if you can Love you all so much. You are enough. You are worthy. Have a beautiful week.